Ancient rock art discovered in Saudi Arabia shows more than 6,600 depictions of wildlife, proving the area was home to a vast range of creatures in prehistoric times. The engravings, some of which date back to 8000 BC, include images of rare antelope, aurochs, wild camels and African asses, previously not known to live in this area. Although the area is now a rocky desert, experts believe it would have been a haven for plant and animal life up until 6,000 years ago. Scroll down for video. Researchers from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Jena, Germany, studied rock art at UNESCO World Heritage Sites Jubba and Shuamis. They looked at more than 6,618 rock engraving panels that provide insight into ancient life in the Arabian Peninsula, which we currently know very little about. The animals they found had never been listed on local archaeological records, writes New Scientist. One of the key findings were images of an antelope called Lesser Kudu which has distinctive spiral horns, and before now was not believed to have left Africa. Aurochs, the ancestors of modern domestic cattle, were also depicted in the drawings as well as wild camels and African wild asses. Previously, none of these animals were believed to have lived in this part of Arabia. Experts believe the area would have been home to an abundance of vegetation that flourished under monsoon rains. Shuamis is a hilly region of northwestern Saudi Arabia, where in the past seasonal rains would have formed rivers that supported the growth of vegetation. Jebba is in a more open area about 125 miles, 200 kilometers, north which would have once featured numerous lakes. Our knowledge of the prehistoric distribution of animal species is so far largely dependent on the location of excavated archaeological and paleontological sites, researchers wrote in the paper published in the Journal of Biogeography. In the absence of excavated faunal remains, Many species that were present in the Levant and North Africa have been assumed to have been absent on the Arabian Peninsula. Here, we explore representations of four species that were identifiable in the rock art, but had not previously been reported in northwestern Arabia. In November, Archaeologists uncovered drawings from the same site depicting a hunter drawing his bow surrounded by a pack of 13 dogs, two of which appeared to be tethered. The find is thought to be the oldest ever depiction of a dog, as well as such restraints being used to control them. Previously, the earliest evidence came from a wall painting in Egypt which is believed to date back around 5,500 years. Researchers found nearly 7,000 images of animals and humans of which 349, found at two sites, depict dogs, 156 at Shuamis and 193 at Jubba. All of the carvings show medium-sized creatures with pricked-up ears, short snouts, and curled tails, suggesting they are domesticated rather than wild animals. Experts say they closely resemble the modern species of Canaan dog, found running wild in the deserts of the Middle East today. The hunters may have used the leashes to keep valuable scent dogs close or to train new dogs, the researchers say, as well as freeing a hunter's hands for his bow.
Alternatively, the images may hold a purely symbolic meaning, representing the bond between the animals and their masters. Speaking to science, Melinda Zetter, an archaeozoologist at the Smithsonian Institution National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., who is not involved in the study, said, It's truly astounding stuff. It's the only real demonstration we have of humans using early dogs to hunt. Hunter-gatherers entered or perhaps returned to, the region around 10,000 years ago.